Hey, how's it going there, YouTube? This is uh, Saint Enix. We're gonna go ahead and do this Android video and try to try to do it the best I can here. Uh, okay, so this is my LG G3. Obviously, we got it sideways because yeah, it's gonna be easier that way. Um, first thing you want to do is you'll be in your browser, coming off the video, obviously. So you're going to go to Fallout. Shelter. dot dot com. Okay, that's going to give you my page, and uh, the mobile site's a little different because it's not optimized quite yet. I'm working on it, but uh, all your basic stuff is here. Everything from the old page is there, just rearranged a little bit, hopefully to make it easier to get to. Um, unfortunately for phones it's moved the downloads all the way to the bottom of the freaking page as well as the donate button and all the links and everything so you're gonna have to scroll all the way down but we're gonna go ahead and make this a quick video hopefully we're gonna click we're gonna select vault 138 right here I'm, gonna, I'm trying to show you with the tip of my finger before I cover it up vault 138 it's gonna take you to an ad fly page it's a little five second ad um, you don't have to click on it you don't have to complete any offers or do anything crazy or sign up for anything or give your email address just wait five seconds tap the skip ad thing it gives me like a fraction of a penny and if a bunch of people see it hey I make a couple of bucks so and nobody's gotta pay me nothing you guys don't have to give me anything you just gotta spend five seconds of your time waiting for an ad to go past so as soon as we click that actually the download started it's like 150k download it'll go fast on anything but dial up so the download is complete as you can see it's vault 138.zip I'm gonna get out of the uh, internet stuff we're gonna go into file manager you can use ES you can use you know um, Astro you can use root explorer you can use whatever you want um, as long as you can f see your files and get to them it's good to go click all files or we'll tap all files go to internal storage and then download and look there's vault 138 zip tap and hold and hit extract file will be extracted continue yes boom vault 138 folder now we got a readme text we can open that up but I'm not going to show you all that it's pretty boring it's just the instructions and a readme. Click on this. We'll tap and hold on this, actually. I'm still used to using a PC. Um, and then you want to go down to rename. Okay? You want to rename it something that one of your saves isn't. So if you've got one save and it's Vault 1, name it Vault 2. Name it Vault 3. If you've got Vault 3 in there, name it Vault 2 or 1. Just don't overwrite stuff and you'll save all your vaults. Okay, so Vault 3.save. Tap and hold copy. Then we're going to go back to internal storage. All the way down to Android. Then data. Then com.bethsoft.falloutshelter. There it is. Now see, up there at the top, you can see the entire the entire path to this folder tap on files and there's all our stuff our vault 1 save is in there already so we're just gonna copy it see the OK button it says copy to tap OK it's copied so now we look around vault 3 save is in there okay um, if you moved your uh, app if you moved Fallout Shelter to the SD card. It's not going to be an internal storage, obviously. It's going to be an SD card. SD card, Android, data, com, Bethsoft, Fallout Shelter. But see, my stuff's not there. Mine's internal. Some people have got it moved to SD. If you can't find it in the internal, go to the external. I mean that's the only difference in this oops sorry in this file
pathway. The only real difference is whether it's internal or external right there. See where my finger is? Yep, that's it. It's the only difference. The rest of it's the same. Okay. Let's get out of all that. Back up the phone a little bit so you guys can actually see it. Um, tap on Fallout Shelter. Takes a second to load. I really apologize for the crappy video. I just cannot find a screen recording program for my phone that works right, or that'll let me record a video longer than 30 seconds without paying 10 bucks for it. So, and I like this camera anyway. So. We're going to go to Vault 3, the one we loaded. Load Vault. By the way, folks, uh, likes, shares, comments, I appreciate all of them very much. Um, and if you're feeling really generous, you know, a buck or two, a little donation, whatever you can spare, it helps me with uh, hosting costs, with uh, computer and PC gaming gaming upgrades so I can bring more content, put out more videos and and hopefully entertain you guys. That's what I'm hoping to do. Okay. So as you can see, we've got our mad amount of caps. This is our collector's edition vault with all of our legendaries all the way from Wild Bill's sidearm to the destabilizer the Enhanced Fat Man and Merv, uh, Burn Master, Gatling Laser, everything. Um, you got all your outfits too, all the legendary outfits. Uh, Bitter Cups outfit, Minuteman's uniform. This stuff back here, it's there, it's just not accessible and you can't put it on your dwellers yet because you need to build some more storage. As you can see at the bottom, storage space 134 of 110 we're overloaded on we don't have enough space for all our items in this save so build another storage room it'll take care of that problem uh, oh jeez uh, yeah tons of tons of resources Oops. and then all of the legendary dwellers star pallet and cross three dogs sarah lions including a special little dweller that I wanted to let you guys have. See? Good old St. Enix. He's using a Magnetron 4000. He's got 9s for stats, 777 hit points. Yeah, he's a beast. Uh, lunch boxes. Mr. Handy's as well, but you got lunch boxes. And they work just fine. Merc gear caps, water, caps. See? All the files will work with each other. Multiple files will work together. Not, I mean, not together. Um, you can have three copies of Vault 138. Just name them Vault 1, Vault 2, and Vault 3 inside the folder. Um, it can be confusing, but you can, you can do it. It doesn't crash the game or anything. Um, it doesn't load the vault name until it actually loads the vault itself, so it's not like there's any way that they can conflict with each other. But having three of the same vault number can be really confusing. You're going to have to really be careful about the number of rooms and the number of dwellers you have to tell, tell them apart. So I just recommend that you don't do it. If you're going to use a save file, use one version of it, and then use a different one for something else. Or a different vault altogether. So there you go, YouTube. Uh, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, um, give me more videos. My gaming PC is just about ready. Like, she's running now, but low on RAM, so I can't really do any Skyrim or anything. But, um, next couple of days, sky's the limit. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. So, thank you again. Peace out. This is St. Enix.